Anderson, what is the significance of the Young Academy of Science Summit that can unite uh, young scientists from across the world to develop the interdisciplinary and innovative uh, academic perspectives? The Young Academy of Sciences Summit uh, was a very new initiative uh, by the Hong Kong Young Academy of Sciences. Uh, we feel that uh, there is a lot for Hong Kong young scientists to offer. We hope that it will provide a platform for scientists from all over the world, especially young scientists, to come and share our experiences, to learn and to exchange. There are lots of activities, uh, initiatives organized by more established scientists, but those that are organized for and by the young scientists, they are very rare. And we feel that by working together, by brainstorming and discussing possible new directions we can collaborate on, there will be a lot of room for us to um, dream big, for us to think about how we can strengthen cross-disciplinary, cross-region collaborations. And hopefully that will also give a new inspiration to young academies like ourselves. Hong Kong Young Academy was founded in 2018. We are still a relatively young academy. By learning about what other young academies are doing, maybe we can learn from them, maybe we can think of new ways to grow and increase our impact so that we can do better in science popularization, in the liaison with the industries, in advising the government and in generally fostering the, de uh, the development of young scientists in Hong Kong. So I was very glad that we had the opportunity um, to be supported by the uh, uh, Innovation and Technology Fund of the Hong Kong government and also with support from young scientists all over the world to have this Young uh, Academy of Sciences Summit. What do you think about the impact that the Young Academy of Science Summit can bring to Hong Kong and the Greater Bay Area? I think the impact uh, remains to be seen. It was still only a very early stage. Uh, we, we just organized it not very long ago. But I believe that the connections uh, that have been made, the network that has been expanded, and the people that have interacted during the Young Academy of Sciences Summit will continue to bear fruit. In particular, Hong Kong has been a very important uh, connector between scientists uh, in China and uh, overseas and Hong Kong has a very strategic location and it is in our DNA that we are highly collaborative, uh, very diverse, um, very uh, international. So hopefully with this mix of attributes we can be in a position to facilitate, for example, in uh, the Greater Bay Area, they are in much better positions in terms of having a larger market, uh, in terms of having lots of large um, kind of science and technology enterprises, manufacturing sites, whereas Hong Kong uh, is very important point for exchange of um, sciences, Mount Scientists, and there are lots of very exciting new developments in science um, all over the world. So. Hopefully, uh, by having this Young Academy of Science uh, Summit, we bring together different scientists and expose to them different opportunities, both in the mainland China and overseas. We can facilitate more effective exchange and uh, um, allocation of our talents and put them in the right use. And hopefully, together, we can solve bigger and uh, multi disciplinary problems go, uh, globally. Uh, many of these problems, they require collaborations from all parties, not just from a particular region, not just from a particular institution, not just from a particular discipline. And we hope that we can facilitate that and also facilitate uh, cultivation of a mindset of collaboration.